Hello and good morning dear fans, friends and subscribers. This is your host Ram welcoming you to an early edition of the Cricket Happening Show today. And uh, well there's nothing, I mean basically uh, no match is being played so but uh, I definitely have something to fill in as far as cricket is concerned. And it's going to be some cricket news. So I'm going to start off with uh, a news which is uh, coming in from uh, India. Uh, as you know now, uh, right now the one day series between India and South Africa. Yesterday South Africa took a 2-1 lead and the ODI squad for the last two matches have been announced. The only difference being that Umesh Yadav who has leaked a lot of runs uh, in the past two matches uh, has been left off of the team. As you know he gave a lot of runs so he has actually made way for Srinath Irwin. Uh, Umesh Yadav uh, conceding 2 for 71 and 1 for 52 in the first two matches has been dropped and his place has been taken by Srinath Arvind. Srinath Arvind, you remember, he was selected for the T20. He also bowled, he also made his uh, maiden, uh, made his one day I mean, T20 debut. Uh, it was not very impressive, but again, one day Dranathal will give him another opportunity here, so he might well make his uh, debut as far as uh, one day Dranathal are concerned. The ODI squad. Uh, is going to remain the same, the composition is the same, there's not going to be much of a change. Uh, we have uh, Arvin Gurkirat Singh, when he's looking forward, whether he could get an opportunity, uh, probably uh, in place of, uh, let's say, Akshar Patel, one does not know, because Gurkirat Singh is a, um, I mean, he is, he, I mean, he's an electric fielder, uh, he's a very good batter, and he's also a useful bowler, so whether he will get his debut, that remains to be seen. And also India has announced their squad for the first two test matches which are coming up. First test begins on November 5th in Mohali. And the first two tests, the, uh, the announcement that has been made, uh, Virat Kohli, as usual, he will be the captain, we all know that. Uh, Muli Vijay is their shikhar down now. The only inclusion, uh, which is uh, a very important inclusion according to me, Ravindra Jadeja has been out of the team for quite some time due to poor form. But uh, recently we have seen that Ravindra Jadeja, the all-rounder, has really hit some good form. I mean, if you look at his uh, bowling uh, uh, here, as far as Jadeja is concerned, uh, he's coming in the place of uh, Harbhajan Singh. So he's replacing him. Uh, and Jadeja, after, as you know, he was not uh, uh, selected for the test series when in Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. And uh, in fact, I'm told that after the three rounds of the Ranji Trophy, uh, he has actually been the highest wicket taker uh, with 24 wickets he has taken in two matches and he has also done well with the bat. He scored 91 uh, and 58 playing for Saurashtra, his own team and he has also done well. So he has actually merited an inclusion and he has been included and we all know Ravindra Jadeja is a very uh, useful player. I mean he will contribute in all the three departments of the game and it's very good to see uh, that he has really hit form at the right time uh, and uh, he has been considered. So I'm sure Ravindra Jadeja would like to put his best foot forward here. Uh, and uh, I think so. The test match um, selection has been done. Kohli is the captain. Murli Vijay, Shrikar Dhamsay, Shri Pujara, Ajinkya Rahane, Rohit Sharma, Riddhiman Shah, the wicket keeper, Jadeja. Amit Mishra has been very, very impressive. And I would say that Amit Mishra uh, should be a regular in the test matches now. Uh, he will get, uh, I mean, he has lots of variation, he bowls well, and uh, as we know, uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin, uh, well, whether Ravi Chandran Ashwin will be included, one does not know, but yes, I do see that his name is figuring in the test matches, which is good to, already India is crippled, as we all know, that with Ravi Chandran Ashwin not playing, uh, that is a big minus for India, because you know what a wonderful baller he is, how he has made uh, A.B. De Villiers' uh, bunny boy, bunny rabbit, and uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin, we all know, is a wonderful baller. He's also a useful contributor with the bat too, uh, and also a good fielder. So that is really going to hurt India, no doubt, in the one-day internationals. It's already hurting India, according to me. And so I'll be happy to see, uh, you know, Ravi Chandran Ashwin. And, uh, but I feel sorry for Harbhajan Singh. Harbhajan Singh has been doing a good job. We have seen he has done well in the one-day internationals. And um, uh, I think Amit Mishra has bowled really well uh, to merit an inclusion. K.R. Rahul, we all know what a talented bloke is. Amesh Yadav is there in the test matches. And they have Stuart Binney, Varun Arun, the pacey bowler who's been doing well in the domestic tourneys here in India. Ishan Sharma. Ishan Sharma is there, but Ishan Sharma, as you know, uh, was uh, banned after um, uh, an outburst against in the, in the Sri Lankan series. So, uh, so he's also there 
uh, a part of the mix in the first two test matches. So it would be interesting to see uh, what type of pace attack India would go for, whether they would go for uh, Ishan Sharma, uh, Umi and Sharada, the uh, and Vardhan and I think that will be the best combination. One has to wait and watch. And even the Boat President's 11 uh, has been announced. Now, Boat President's 11 will be taking on South Africa in the warm-up match. Chateshwar Pujara will lead the side. They have the K of Rahul, a very, very talented batsman. Unnut Chan, uh, yesterday he made 99 and took his team to victory. He is there, he's a talented bloke. Karun Nair has already proved himself. Shreya Sain is under uh, upcoming talent as far as India is concerned. I mean, he has been doing very well for Mumbai Indians. He did. He actually made his IPL debut in 2015. Did a tremendous job. Namanoja has always been knocking on the doors of Indian cricket. Hardik Pandya, we saw uh, what a revelation he was in the Indian Premier League 2015 when he smacked those big sixes. He has the ability to clear the ground, uh, um, uh, clear the fence beautifully. Jayant Yadav, Kuldeep Yadav, the Chinaman spin bowler, Shardul Thakur, Sheldon Jackson, Karan Sharma, Nathu Singh. So this is the composition as far as both President Sullivan is concerned. The other news that I have is that uh, Marvin Jam is in some, in some, again, deep trouble as uh, he has once again been uh, uh, called up for some suspect action. So that is not good news, uh, especially considering Sri Lankan, uh, the West Indian tour of Sri Lanka is going on, not good news at all. He has been struggling with the bat too in the test series right now. And also, Bilal Asif uh, would be the one who would be making his way into the United Arab Emirates and he's going to replace Yasir Shah, who is not uh, able to bowl, or I think Azhar Ali, I wouldn't know. But Bilal Asif uh, has already proved himself uh, in the very one match that he played, uh, well, is, is the one who is going to be uh, coming to United Arab Emirates. Well, dear fans and scabbers, there was a very, very brief uh, cricket broadcast today. I uh, hope you all liked it. And uh, I'm hoping to see you all tomorrow. That's on my next Cricket Happening show on Tuesday. Till such time, I see you, dear friends, subscribers. It is goodbye from Host Ram Studios. Thank you.